up with the, the theory that a good leader is a heroic leader and like a general on a battlefield that can see his forces. And really the analogy that was most comfortable was a chess master. And a chess master is operating on a battlefield of 64 squares, has 16 chess pieces against an enemy. But what if that enemy, that other opponent and the other chess master isn't one person, but all the 16 pieces could think for themselves, coordinate between themselves, talk and move whenever they wanted. Suddenly the heroic leader, there's no way you could process information, make decisions and deal with that. What if it's not 16, what if it's 16,000 or 16 million? And I became convinced that what leaders really do is they can't try to be the brain of the organization. They've got to let the organization be that. And I think of a garden, the plants actually grow the product, the flowers or the, the vegetables. The gardener creates an ecosystem, goes out, prepares the, the soil, puts in seeds, weeds, tins, makes sure and harvests, and harvests. But the plants really do the work. So the key thing is creating that ecosystem so the organization can flourish. Mm -hmm.